Who did Jesus really hang out with? The answer is really quite shocking. I found something pretty much jaw-dropping while I was researching this topic. But first, let's go over the basics. So it's pretty well known that Jesus' first recruited disciples, the first people he befriended, they were fishermen. And if you've ever heard the saying, oh, they swear like a sailor, you know, that kind of rang true for them and their culture. A sailor might have been a rougher individual, maybe swore a lot. You kind of see Peter doing that a little bit later. So that's a little unexpected, maybe. Jesus also was accused in the book of Luke of being a drunk by the religious people. Now, I don't think that he was, but I do think that hints that he was probably around drinking wine with people, visiting, and you might find him today at a bar or a brewery visiting with people. Now, the crazy thing that I discovered while I was researching this topic, we all know that Jesus hung out with some tax collectors and recruited one to be in his inner circle. Matthew ended up writing a book of the Bible on Jesus's life and who he was, what he was like. But just how bad was Matthew? So it's well known that tax collectors would basically take a little bit of extra money from people and put it in their own pockets. That would be really frustrating today. I have here, for my research, a Cultural Backgrounds Study Bible by two scholars, Craig Keener and John Walton. And what I like about it is they just don't tell you their interpretation or their thoughts about a chapter for the most part. Instead, they take more of a historian approach trying to tell you facts about what the culture was actually like at the time Jesus was living, at the time the Bible was written. And what they found was that in Egypt at this time, if they had a hard harvest, so they didn't have a lot of food and maybe they couldn't pay their taxes, if they found out that a tax collector was coming to their town to collect taxes, sometimes they would just move the entire town so the tax collector couldn't figure out where they were because they were so afraid of tax collectors. Pretty bad reputation for a tax collector, right? So think about that is who Jesus recruited to be in his inner circle and to write a book of the Bible. A tax collector, Matthew, ended up getting to know Jesus, stopped ripping people off probably, and went on to be a really good follower of Jesus who ended up writing a book of the Bible for us to try to figure out what he was like. So I think this is a really good thing to think about because we could think about, okay, if you're a person who's been marginalized or you've had a bad experience with organized religion, I just want you to know Jesus would probably be more likely to hang out with you than the religious people. Second, if you're a Christian or you're a religious person or a Catholic or whatever, it's really good for us to think through this story every once in a while and think through who did Jesus hang out with? Who might he hang out with today? So who might be a modern version of a tax collector? Is there somebody that maybe we kind of don't want to hang out with that maybe Jesus would be hanging out with? And if so, well, maybe we can retool how we think about other people and try to be more like who Jesus was and welcome everybody. I think that is a really important thing for us to do today. If you found this interesting, post a comment. I'd really like to hear what you think about that whole Egyptian tax collector thing. And yeah, like and subscribe to this channel, and I will be back soon with more research on tough questions about the Bible. We'll see ya.